Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can take any image as a shape and then use it as a mask to control what areas of your video can actually show through. So in a sense, you can have video fit the silhouette of a shape. So there would be, of course, multiple ways to do this in Resolve, but the way I found was the easiest is to go over to the color page with a clip in the timeline, of course. And on the color page, what you can do is drag in your shape into the node section here. So I'm going to take this DaVinci Resolve logo and pop it in here. So what you'll see is the outline of the shape as a external matte node. And then what we need to do is to feed the top blue from here into the alpha channel for this top node. So we're going to take the matte here and use that as the mask essentially for this top node. And when we do that, you should see the outline of this shape be reflected up here. So when we have our final output, only the areas inside of that shape are going to show through. In order for that to appear, we actually have to have an alpha output channel. So I'm going to right click and add a alpha output. And now we need to feed this node's output to the final output for the clip in the timeline. And just like that, we have the shape appear here. Now, when you take an image, load it in as an external matte node here and resolve, it's going to be stretched to the size of the timeline frame. Uh, the actual logo here doesn't have the same resolution, so it's been stretched to the top and bottom, basically maximizing the size that still fits the frame. So uh, what you can do if you do want to shrink it down or stretch it is to go over to this tab over here called the key. And there's a checkbox here for lock matte. So you want to uncheck that and then that will give you access to all of the controls. So for instance, the zoom, we can lower the zoom down, which in a sense will shrink the shape size. We can also pan it left and right. So if we increase this by a few hundred pixels, it's now going to be on the right side. Of course, you can type the numbers in manually as well. Uh, so these are all pixel sizes with reference to the timeline frame. Uh, so that's why it needs to go up so many numbers in order to actually move. Uh, tilt, I believe that's going up and down. So if you need to move it to a corner, you can do that. So anyway, when you position and size it correctly, then the shape should fit the screen properly. So once you have your map positioned correctly, if you go back to the edit tab, you can hit and then you should see the video play only in the area which you decided to show. If you want to change what part of the video actually shows here, then you can adjust it by moving the position up and down. So if I change the position and move it up here, only the position of the video changes, the mat still stays in the same place. So you can get exactly which part of the video you want to show through in the space where you have the shape you're using as a mat node. So now let's explore another trick to do the same thing. But in this way, we can also add in the ability to adjust the position of the shape or resize it. But this time we'll be able to adjust the position of the shape or resize it. So what we're going to need is a 100% white copy of the shape that we want to put in here uh, so that the video image can fit inside of it. So we can use programs like GIMP for this. So what I'm going to do is open up this Black Wolf PNG and change it to be completely white. Uh, the reason for this is that we're going to do a color multiply composite mode, uh, which means that all the colors are going to multiply by this white. And white is basically 100% of each values. So if you multiply a color by 100%, it's going to be that color. And then everything outside of it is just going to be this transparent area. So in this case, I can just so in this case, I can just take the paint bucket and fill it in really easily. Uh, depending on what shape you're using, it might be a little trickier than that. But but whatever way you need to do it, just make your shape completely white. Now I'm going to export it. So I'll call this wolf.png. And now we just need to put this inside of Resolve. Okay, so what I did is I moved the original video clip to video track two uh, on a new timeline. What we need is the Wolf PNG to go under that. So we can't see it right now, but if I hide video track two, we can see our Wolf image. So when we use the multiply composite mode, only this area is going to be filled in because that's the area that has the white color. So we take the top video clip and we go down to composite inside of the inspector change the composite mode from normal to multiply. It's down there a bit. And when we do that, we should get a perfect outline of the wolf shape that we had in. Just make sure that when you're editing it in GIMP, Photoshop, or whatever you need, that you do make this 100% white so that 100% of the color shows through in all areas. 
Okay, so now we can adjust the size and shape of the wolf. So I'll just lower the zoom here to shrink it. We can adjust the position. And because this is now a clip inside of the uh, timeline, we can keyframe it. So if we need the wolf to, I don't know, move across the screen across time, then we go to frame zero, keyframe it there. Let's go here about three seconds in and we'll move it to the right, maybe up a little bit. And now if we go back to frame one, we can hit play and our shape's gonna move. So of course, like before, since only part of the video is gonna be showing through inside of the shape, we can adjust the position of the video without really worrying about it fitting the screen completely, since it's only meant to fit in here. So you can adjust the size and shape of the video clip as well. So now we can go back to the start, hit play, and uh, maybe we have a little bit more of that horizon going on there instead of just showing something completely random. So that's two ways you can have video clips fit inside of a shape inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. I, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future DaVinci Resolve content.